Welcome to Geeks 4x4. My name is Bryce, and today we're going to switch out my Bilstein 4600 teeth shakers for some Skyjacker Black Max shocks. Um, talk about those shocks a little bit. We've all been running Bilsteins for a long time on these excursions, and it was like, yeah, we need to do this to tow, and we need to do this and that and the other thing. And they're stiff, and I'm tired of my teeth being jarred out of me when I'm driving this truck. And honestly, I think it's actually affecting the way it drives. So I am switching to Skyjacker. I also have a 10% off coupon, Skyjacker. If you guys want to switch to Skyjacker, it is Geeks 4x4 10. It's going to be in the description. But these are the shocks that I decided to go with. They have a bunch of different shocks. They've got some white ones. They've got these black maxes. And then they've got an ADX and an ADX 2.0. Now, the ADX is a more performance shock. It's actually nitrogen charged. The black max, as you can tell, is not. So this is just a normal fluid filled shock. You can mount it any direction. There is no pressure against this, so it's really easy to install. The only thing that makes this a little bit hard to install is that it does not come with the bushings, which is super easy if you've got a pair of channel locks, much easier if you have a vise. And I'm gonna show you guys all those things, all those ways right now on how to put this shock together. Uh, you need an 18 millimeter for both sides of the bottom nut and bolt. And then this is, I believe a 10, but I didn't actually look at the socket. That would have been smart before I started filming. Anyway, I'll double check that 10 for you. But uh, these are the upper bolts that are up in there next to the gas tank. It's a little bit hard to get to those, especially on the passenger side of the exhaust in the way. We're gonna start by putting this shock together and seeing what we've got here. So I'm gonna put this boot on, I'm gonna take the small end and put it to where it's gonna go over this. So take it in here, kind of just pull it around, super easy. And then uh, I pulled it too far, so I'm gonna put it back. So right there, that's where the boot goes. I'm just gonna leave that boot sitting right there. The, uh, the thing that I you know, will do is if you put the bar pin in the wrong side, you can't get the boot on. But I am putting the bar pin in that side. So I need to put the boot on first, very important. Uh, this is the bottom side bushing. And so this is just for a bolt, typical bolt here. Uh, I've got, what I do, my trick is Try and get it to where you guys can see it. I think you can see it there. Uh, I take a little bit of grease and give this thing just a little, little bit of grease here. And normally I can do it right here on the bench, but since I'm filming it, I don't know if it'll do it because I'll be weak or something will happen that, that I won't be able to do it for some reason because I'm filming or it'll take me 25 minutes to push it in by my hand. Let's see. Yeah, see, told you. Can't do it by hand because I'm just, you know, over here. So I'm gonna take my big channel locks and come over here and just give this thing the old, the old get in there, please. It's just a rubber bushing. It should just collapse. Should just go in. Go in your home. Boom! That was super easy! Uh, it, it just depends on the time. Uh, sometimes, like literally, I just put the other shock on and I did it pretty much all by hand. So the bar pin. The bar pin is a little bit difficult to get in, I will admit. I put a little bit of grease on that. Clear shaft, same thing. You can just take your pair of pliers, channel locks, go boom. That side is done. You have a little bit of grease on your hands. This is, uh, you know, we're working on cars here. We get grease on our hands. Okay, uh, now I got the bar pin. Like I said, the bar pin can be a little bit difficult. We need to put the bar pin in the bushing first. Unless you know a way to do it once the bushing in, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna put, do the same thing, a little bit of grease. I'm gonna put the grease all the way out to the end because Gonna slide this thing in here. 
I forget what I did. I think I put it in the vise. The bar pin end is bigger than the bushing, and so put it in the vise. And yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great video. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it in the vise, but you know how that goes. Okay, I finally got both sides of it in. And we're working our way across. And there we go. I just essentially put the bar pin in there and then slid this thing down it. So now, the bushing is in the bar pin. And I'm doing all this left-handed so that hopefully you can see it in the vise. I don't know if you can, but guys, I'm doing my best here. It's exciting. Just me, myself, and I, and a camera, hanging out in the garage, trying to help some folks install some bushings and skyjacker shocks. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna have skyjacker shocks pretty soon. It's gonna be super cool. I'm so excited for you. I'm excited for myself. So excited. Get some good shocks. All right, I've got a 7-8 socket sitting right here, and that is what I'm gonna use to push this thing through. I'm gonna put this here, and then I am going to, I actually had it on the bottom before. The one that worked well, and then Let's see if I can't make this thing kind of pop over. Oh, and I slipped it out. All right, I'll try again. It's pretty much what you're doing there is kind of putting this thing in and then I'm gonna make it to where you have to pop it over the bushing. And if you can get some, some help, by moving things around, boom, there it is. And a couple of wax, it already looks way better. And you can even move it around a little bit with your pliers. If you don't like it, there's there's really no reason to center this, but, but uh, you can move things around and make it nice. And, oh, here's my socket. Don't worry, didn't lose the socket. And that is that, that is now a setup shock. So I can go over to the truck and install this in there. Comes with a zip tie that I use, or that is for right here on the top of this boot. You take it, so the body of the shock kind of has some movement here. I put the boot where it goes right up here. Um, and it's actually easier to do once you've got some grease on it because uh, then the boot slides a little bit easier. You slide the boot up there, kind of make it to where it looks pretty even. Take your included by Skyjacker zip tie and come up here and put Mr. Zip Tie on and there you have it you built yourself a shock so this is going to go um, this way in the truck kind of make the boot see these little things in it I like to make them straight because I'm pretty OCD uh, and then this is going to go in the truck just like that, bottom, top, and I'll put this Black Max sticker on it once I get it in the truck because I don't want to get it dirty because, you know, it's cool. But anyway, that is how you build a Skyjacker shock for the rear of the excursion. I'm just putting the rears on right now. I'm going to go take it for a drive. We're going to see what the difference is. I'm hoping for big. All righty, well, I went for a little test drive, and uh, I have to say I feel like I can notice a difference immediately. It's, it's, the difference is... When you hit a bump with the front, you can feel it go bang and jar into the hole. And then the back hits it and it just kind of goes through it. And I think that initial hit, not that Bill Stein is a bad shock, not that any of that, that initial hit on the Bill Steins is just harder than the initial hit on the Skyjackers. And so I'm putting the ones on the front. I am tired of this and I want it to ride really nice. Um, just tired of beating myself up going down the road. So. I'm really looking forward to this, and I'm going to put the front ones on, show you guys that. It's just two of the uh, little sleeved bushings, so they're super easy to put on. I'm going to try and do it without taking the tires off, but the, the way the shocks are mounted on the front, they're on top of the axle, so it might be easier to take the tires off. 
I don't know. I'll let you guys know how I do here. All right, well, here is the front shock. And same way, comes with nothing in it. Comes with two of the same bushings and sleeves. You actually only need to put the sleeve in the one that's going in the axle side because the upper mount on the excursions and I think the Super Dudes and stuff like that doesn't need a sleeve. It has a bolt that has kind of a sleeve on it. So same thing. Uh, we're going to press these guys in and then uh, tuck this thing in there. It's super simple. And yeah, I'm going to try again to put it on the bench. So I just did a shock in between. I mean, I know you guys can't tell with the movie, movie making magic, but I did the driver's side first, and now I'm doing the passenger side. I ended up taking the tire off, just in case you were wondering about that. Uh, and and uh, when I pushed it in on the bench, I did it by hand. Like I said, I could. Uh, but I didn't do it on film again. So, so let's see if I can do it this time on film. Oh, yeah. You couldn't see that at all because I was standing in front of the camera. But I just pushed that in. It wasn't even movie-making magic. So this one's going to get a sleeve because I'm using the body on the bottom of this thing. And then I'm putting the boot up towards the top. So I'm just going to use this guy to shove the sleeve through. And uh, it is a little difficult to get the sleeve through and get it centered. But... There it is, all centered up. Sometimes you gotta give it a little whack to get it nice and centered in the uh, bushing. Real nice, great. All right, now we want to pull this out. Like I said, these shocks don't have any charge in them. So uh, you're gonna hear them trying to make that. That was in it, that was in it. If you heard that little noise in the, in the mic, that was it. Uh, and you want to be able to grab the shaft, put this thing over the top, just like we did before. Kind of has a little groove that goes around that round piece. And then I wasn't able to push this one in by hand on this side. So I don't know if it's a side thing or what it is, but uh, anyway, this side here, a little bit of grease. And... Let's see if I can make some magic again. I actually did it last time. It wasn't movie making magic or anything. Yeah, there's something different on this side. It just doesn't slide in as easily. Oh, but it bounces off real nice. Yeah, it's actually really easy if you have a vise. All you do is just put it in the vise square and you just push it in. It's like, it's like cheating. Boom, easy. All right, now you've seen all the ways to do it. You can shove it in with your hands, brute force. You can push it in with channel locks or you can pop it in with pliers really easily. Um, but anyway, yeah, this shock is gonna mount like this because I don't know, I want the boot up for some reason. I've never had the boot up on the excursion and I want the boot up, gosh darn it. And and I can because Skyjacker was like, ah, we don't need to have these things directional. And so, so yeah, taking this, doing the same thing, pushing it over that ridge, making it to where if you spin it, it looks kind of okay. Never looks perfect because, yeah, I don't know, never perfect enough. And put Mr. Zip Tie on it. Zippy zip. And snip, and boom. We've got another shock made. Like I said, I didn't put the sleeve in the top because it's got a sleeve type thing on it. So go in there, install this guy. It is a 15 millimeter on the axle side, 18 millimeter on the top side. Did take the tire off. And then uh, put the sticker on, good to go. Alrighty, so I've got the driver's side Skyjacker installed. I actually took the opportunity to Get a little quick wire brush on the frame and give it a nice coat of paint. Um, and the cool thing about the Black Max is you can mount them either way. So normally these shocks on the excursion are mounted the other way. And I 
I want them to be this way for the first time ever. So we'll see if that changes anything. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. But it looks cool. Yeah. Alrighty, well I did the same thing over here, wire wheeled the frame real quick and then shot some paint and then I've got a shock in here. The bottom bolt can go in either way. On the driver's side, it's probably right to go in from the front because of the way that this L thing catches. There's an L bracket on this nut on it, which is great. You don't have to get a wrench down in here. And then this 18 millimeter up on top. Like I said, that one's got like a sleeve on it. So it actually has a bigger riser. This thing you can tighten all the way down to where it locks, stops moving. Cause it will, yeah. So anyway, boom, black Mac shocks all the way around the white truck. All righty, first drive impressions. We got about 10 miles going down the highway now already on these Skyjacker shocks. And uh, yeah, yeah, they're sweet. I think the jarring thing is the, the difference. The way that they start, Skyjacker actually defines it as you can kind of feel a bounce. But what I can define it as is you can feel that the spring works and then the shock slows it down exactly what it's supposed to do. Instead of the spring hitting the shock, going jarring and doing this and so I, I'm really happy with it feels like it drives really nice um, some of that like I don't know it literally feels like it's more attached to the road because it's not being shoved off the road every time by a shock that's really stiff um, so anyway first impressions I am really impressed really like them so far got a tow with them let you guys know uh, how that goes there's any difference there but uh, I think it's gonna be really good yeah and the other thing is the other difference that I can feel right off the bat is it feels like they fix the roads it's like all the little small bumps in the roads are just like gone so I, we have these counting things right now just went over one and with the other shocks I could like feel it and I can't even feel it now so pretty cool I'm pretty excited um, yeah Skyjacker shocks code geeks 4 by 410 get yourself 10% off uh, yeah, I am an ambassador for them, uh, but I am just still massively impressed. So this is not because I am an ambassador for them. This is not good. This is this is just literally I am impressed. 